Good day everyone, my name is Michael, you are watching Fountain TV. This is a new episode, a new course entirely on this YouTube channel, Computer and GNS221. Computer Science, so GNS221, Computer and its application. Computer and its application. So today we are going to quickly talk on the topic computer what computer mean the meaning of computer sorry meaning of computer meaning and and then history of computer meaning and history of computer we talk on the generations of computer generations of computer I'm we'll talking about um, computer system. Computer system. So now the first one, meaning of an issue of computer. We all know what computer is. I like to just brush on the definition. Computer is an electronic device, an electronic device that accepts data as information, process it, give it out as useful information and if it is networked can pass the information from one user to another user let me just put it down like this computer is just an is an electronic device that accepts data process it and gives it out as useful information. Gives it out as useful information. So if network, if it is if there is network, if, if it is network, it can be passed from one user to another user. That's what computer is all about. Now let's go to the history of computer. So it all in during the ancient period before the invention of computer. Our forefathers, they, and they, they try to create a lot of machines that can help man in his or her day-to-day -day activities. That can help to relieve man of all the activities in which what he or she what imbibes in. And during those periods, we have a lot of pro pro processes, a lot of, a, lot of, a lot of inventions created by people during those periods of time. So we have inventions like, for instance, counting. Inventions during those days, we have all ancient methods of counting. We have some people use stones and pebbles, some people use stones and pebbles, some people use cowries, some people use cowries, some people use rocks, some people use they use abacus. This abacus was created by the Hindus during those days, and so a lot of things happened before the invention of the modern computer. We have some inventors. And we have the invent inventions in which they created. I would like to just mention few. Sorry, I'd like to mention few of the inventions and the inventors. So we have, for instance, during those days, we have in six in the year 1614, we have um, someone named John Napier. John Napier, he was one that created he created log reading. Log reading. That is the year. Inventor invention. So he, he created log reading in year 1616 as well. This same John Napier he created something called Rod of Bones. Napier Napier Rod of Bones. It's used for counting. Rod of Bones. This first one, this log reading can be used for you know we all did log reading in mathematics can be used for calculations, multiplication, subtraction, a lot of things. We have some people we have in 18. 22. This Charles Babbage. This man is very special when it comes to the history of computer Charles Babbage. He created 
the difference machine difference machine so we just pick one more the created difference machine this same Charles Babbage created the first form of computer this same Charles Babbage Babbage created what we known as analytical machine analytical machine so we stop here for those these major inventions so you just need to know the years the inventors and inventions of each thing listed here so that when it comes out in the test for example we'll be able to, uh, to answer them now let's look at the history like the, the, the generations of computer now during the um, introduction of technology we have various technological developments and they are classified under what generations of computer there are five generations of computer we have the what let me come here we have the, what? the first generation that is generations of computer Generations of computer. We have the first generation, the first generation, second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth generation. So we have the first generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation, and fifth generation. Now let us take closely look at what is actually what, what all these generations actually what entails, what they are heard about. Now the first generation of computer, that is, that is the first generation of technological production. We it occur. We need to take note of the year. Now we want to take the first generation. This first generation occurred. In the year 1940 to 1955. Take note of all these years. The year we are going to deal with the important things here. The year the 1940 to what 1955. We have the, the what the technology used then. Technology used. They make use of something called electronic bars. Electronic bars, or you can call them. Or vacuum tubes. This is the most important thing. Vacuum tubes. So electronic but the year, the technology used. We can talk about the size. Very big. Very big. Heat emitted. Heat emitted is very high. That is, it needs cooling system. We have the year, we have the technology, we have the size, we have the heat. Let's take two more. Two more. For instance, let's take um how fast it is it is very, very slow. The the memory is limited. It does not have it cannot contain a lot of things. So let's take one more. Let's take examples. Or let's take the language used. Language. Language used is machine language now note that computer does not understand directly the computer directly does not understand english does not bring out everything you see in your own language there is a particular language computer understands and that is called what the machine language there are some softwares that has been what that has been programmed to help translate all this machine all the machine language to your own language so that you can be able to see it so you don't think that when you when you see uh, it English displayed on the screen of the what the monitor, it's not as if the computer understands English. No, there is a particular language the computer understands, and it is called machine language. So there are some software that has, that has been designed to help transfer all this machine language to our own normal language. Machine language. Now let's go to the second generation. The second generation this is the first generation. We'll go to the second generation. The second generation of computer. Now let's take a look at the year. This year it occurs in the year 19. You know that one is 1940 towards 1955. This is 1955 to 1964. 1955 to 1964. We have the technology used. It is different from the first one, which they use vacuum tubes. Technology used. They use what? 
transistor 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 now the the let me just talk about the size the size is a bit a bit smaller than its predecessor smaller than what the first one it emitted as well is a bit lower than the what than the first one no that's language used we're going to take the important ones here language used they make use of machine language machine language as well as programming language if i'm right they make use of as they make use of machine language as well as high level language examples of this high level language examples of high level language level language example we have the we have the basic it means beginners just take note that take note of all these things beginners all purpose all purpose symbolic symbolic instruction code also fortran let's stop here formula it means formula translator so that's that one the second generation of computer examples we can take examples we have something called univac univac we have lumac The first generation, the first generation, like the first generation examples, we can have the Leo. Examples of computer there, we have the Leo. That it, it refers to Lion Ele Electrical Office. Electronic Lion Electronic Office. So that's the examples. And the first, you know, they use it, they use it in war during war front then they used to program what war uh commands to send missiles a lot of things there so second, that's that on second generation let's take a look at the word in third generation take note of all these years the language and the what the the, the 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 language and most especially the technology used these are what is very important the third generation third generation here the year we are nineteen sixty four to what nineteen seventy nineteen sixty four to nineteen seventy nineteen sixty four to nineteen seventy technology used technology used we have we, the first one is um, uh, the first one I think we mentioned. Um, vacuum tools, transistor. This one is integrated circuit. Integrated circuit. Here, now the language used. We have the high level language. High level language. Example. We have the basic, basic, the cobalt, the Fortran. Now, this cobalt, I've, I've given us the, the meaning of basic and Fortran. Now, this, we are talking about cobalt. Cobalt is means common, let me write it here, cobalt. Cobalt means common business oriented language so let's take note of this now the fourth generation you are talking about the fourth generation the fourth generation the fourth generation this occurred in the year 1970 1970 to date yes year 1970 to date we also have um, the the technology used. Take note of all these things. Technology used. This is because it's 
the it's called VLSI microprocessor. I'll tell us the meaning of this microprocessor. Very large skill, very large skill integration. Now you need to know that there is advancement as time goes on. The more the what the, 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 the increasement of the year, the more the advancement of technological production. It does not what it does not stops. Technology keeps improving. Now let's uh, the language used here. Language used. We have they used problem um, the all these languages and we also have these problem oriented languages like the C the Java, the Oracle. They use basic as well. It is examples. Examples we can have the compacts. I'm very sure we will know some, some of us are aware of computers like compacts. Very fast, they're very fast, they emit less heat, emit less heat, and then so now let's go to the next the last generation of computer, which is the fifth generation of computer. Now, if you're talking about the fifth generation of computer, the fifth generation of computer is still in progress. And if we are very conversant with what is going on in the world, we will be very aware that there, are, there was a time when we, we, the news about 5G, 5G keeps breaking the internet and what keeps going on around the internet. 5G, 5G, that is what? Fifth generation of computer. And it is already what? In place. The fifth generation of computer. Generation of computer. Or computer. And this, it is the what? The combination of the first generation. The combination of the first generation to the what? Fourth generation. First generation to fourth generation makes up the fifth generation of computer. One way to decode this is, is that there will be improvement in scientific activities as well as the use of what? Something called artificial intelligence. Whereby you don't need to drive your car, you just need to what? Hold the key and start controlling it with your what? With the key. Start controlling the car with the key. You don't need to go to go to the bank anymore. You just what, need to what, operate the bank right from your home. You need to what, you don't need to do things. You don't need to employ people. You need to what, get robots in the what in the management setting to help you do a lot of things. That is what the fifth generation, and that is what also in progress. So that is the end of today's episode. Um, we'll, the next episode we'll be able to talk about the computer system. Do want to like and subscribe on this channel, Fanting TV. <laughs>